Konnichiwa everybody, welcome back to another edition of Sumo Card Hub. We're going to do a quick set highlight from 1979. Hey everybody, welcome back. Appreciate everybody tuning in again for some more sumo wrestling content. Wanted to highlight an auction that I had won just recently. Um, I was actually able to peek in the box here because it was split open uh, oddly. Um, but so I know what it is, but I wanted to highlight this cool set from 1979. This is a, a 1975, sorry, 1979 Amada um, seal set. And you'll see that here. And kind of through all the bubble wrap, but uh, 1970s were pretty sparse as far as um, sumo card sets. There was the 1971 Kabaya Leaf set. There was the certainly the 1973 Calbee sets. Uh, you've got a 1976 um, Kodansha International Seal set or sticker set. Then you have this Amada set uh, seal set so it says amata seal collection and seal is another word for sticker and that's how the japanese say it so you can see down here a 20 yen selling price and at the time it was about 200 yen or so per one us dollar so let's just say it's about you know 20 cents per pack and you can see here it says 50 included so 50 packs included and then if you go here you can see amata O Sumo Dai Sumo collection cards. You, you can see again 20 yen selling price. All along the back, and back is blank. Um, so, yeah, let's open it up. So, a um, toy shop would open this up uh, or buy this from the wholesaler, come back to his or her shop, open this up, and it, what you'd see on the top were three collector's albums. Now, um, there was four total. We're missing, I think, let's see, Kita Naomi, you can see here, Wajima, and Wakanohana. So in 1979, there was four Yokozuna. We're missing the Mie, Mie Naomi um, album, but uh, you would uh, have these three albums included in this box. Let's go ahead and open up uh, the Wakanohana one. So you can see here, talk to historically, 36, 37, 38. They would talk about all the other Yokozuna at the time. 43rd, 44, 45th, all the way up to Taiho. And you can see there was spots, just like Panini stickers, there were spots to stick the seals or the stickers in these albums. So you'd buy the stickers uh, and then you would, um, you would actually paste them in these albums. So how did you get the albums, right? There's only three albums but you know there's 50 packs in here. So uh, this is an unopened box, obviously, uh, or at least a sealed box. Uh, none of them were sealed in cellophane. They were all wrapped like this. But inside, you would have all these packs. And you would have a special. Um, you can see here there are three packs in this cellophane wrap. And these packs were the ones that actually contained the winner stamps to get the album so the store owner would know which packs were actually the winner stamp packs and i've heard or at least speculate a variety of ways they could do this was you know they could randomize this open this up and put this in this box and then just randomize all these mix them all together and then you would truly get it random or they could they could put these in in this box and um, kind of slow roll it if you will when one was one they would put another one in kind of entice the kids to um, to buy more packs if you will so but here's a pack um this one is a non-winner pack so you can see uh, waka no hana on the front here there's a uh, wajima on the back you can see it says amada they were steeled sealed by these you can see their staple and so uh, let's go ahead and open up a pack so you can kind of experience that. So should be 50 packs in there. So we'll open up one. So a kid 
would buy one of these packs for 20, 20 yen. So let's just say about 20 cents. Open it up. Okay, you need, they would get two stickers. So these are what the two stickers looked like. The backs are all generic other than the different numbers to, to show you where you would stick it in. But you can see these are stickers. There's a little line, it might be hard to see, but that's where you would break kind of, or peel that top part off. Um, and then you could stick that in the album. So we got number 10 and number 19. So then let's go back into the album and we'd see 10. Oh, okay. So Mie no, Mie no Umi is number 10. So you would actually stick that right here, right there in the album. And it might be only the top part that actually sticks or maybe the whole thing. So maybe you could just stick the top part and flip it up. Not sure. And then number 19, let's see if we can figure out who number 19 is. Um, let's see, oh, okay, Wakano Hana. Is that it? Yeah, Wakano Hana. Yeah. Um, so that you would stick it right, oops, sorry, no, off the screen. So you'd stick it right there. So that's, that's basically how the Yamada sticker sets worked. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And uh, we will chat with everybody next week with another uh, edition of Sumo Card Hub. Sayonara. Bye.